Space Concordia Robotics is proud to present our rover for the URC 2025 competition series. The rover this year is designed primarily to be easily configured to best suit the requirements for each of the four missions with emphasis on the arm and the science payload. Two cameras on the mast and arm, along with a Z2 camera located on the front of the rover, provide visual feedback during operation. The rover is operated using a computer, a PS4 controller, and a joystick controller for the arm. Communication is done through the 900MHz ISM band with two ubiquity radios, paired with a dual-polarity Yagi antenna, and two omnidirectional antennas on the rover. This setup enables operation of the rover in non-line-of-sight conditions, with a maximum range of 1.5 km from the base station. The kill switch, once pressed, cuts the power throughout the whole rover and brings it to an abrupt stop. The batteries are mounted outside of the electronics bay to ease replacement, maintenance, and troubleshooting. The rover's chassis features a triple bogey suspension system. The two front bogies are mounted on a four-bar linkage, allowing them to navigate steep and harsh terrain more effectively. The series manipulator has undergone significant upgrades this year now featuring a 6R design that dramatically enhances its dexterity and precision. Operators control the arm remotely using live camera feedback, ensuring accurate task execution even from a distance. Four of the arm joints now use cycloidal discs paired with a new encoder system that enables 3D inverse kinematics. This allows the rover to perform complex tasks like pressing buttons and flipping switches with increased efficiency. The addition of the forearm rotation axis should solve previous alignment challenges, enabling the rover to perform intricate tasks like unlatching and retrieving tools with greater leniency. The upgraded joint design featuring direct drive cycloidal gearboxes eliminate backlash and allows the arm to lift heavy loads, such as the 5 kg mass. The science payload is a modular attachment installed on the front of the rover. The system is contained within a sheet metal box installed on linear rails and positioned with a lead screw. The soil sample is collected using a scoop attached to the front. The scoop brings the soil into a sealed watertight cavity and acts as a lid to close the system. Once the soil is collected in the cavity, a buffer solution is pumped inside and left to soak with the sample for a few seconds. Each cavity is connected to an independent fluid system consisting of a peristaltic pump, solenoid valve, and a reservoir for the buffer solution. After mixing in the cavity, the cuvette is rotated into position and a controlled sample of the mixture is precisely pumped out of the nozzle into the cuvette. Our approach focuses on four key biomarkers, proteins, lipids, organic compounds, and ferroin. The samples are mixed with a neutral buffer solution and placed in the carousel system. The fourth scoop is the dry sample cache. To remove the cache within the specified time of five minutes, the operator must remove a single bolt and disconnect the servo motor. The Ocean Insight UV VIS spectrometer analyzes these samples by tracking wavelength shifts to detect unique biosignature patterns. The Bradford assay uses a special dye to detect proteins, and the Sudan 4 assay will detect fats by binding to them. Organic compounds will be recognized using phenolphthalein. And finally, the ferroin test is done to examine iron oxidation states. The deep sample is collected using our custom drill. The drill body is hollow and a small entrance hole collects soil at a 10 cm depth. Temperature and humidity sensors inside the drill analyze the deep sample. The drill hole closes before it retracts. The rover is also coupled with AR tag detection for helping operators and our autonomous navigation system navigate the competition grounds. It also performs pose estimation on the tags, giving it an idea of how far away they are. The Aerial Reconnaissance and Exploration System, Ares, is our custom modular drone platform developed in-house to assist the rover in the delivery mission. The custom frame cuts weight and simplifies manufacturing by only utilizing lightweight flat sheets. The arms are oriented vertically to minimize the area facing the propeller and maximize stiffness. A truss-based design with optional cable tensioners has been employed to dampen vibrations. Ares will feature a radio repeater capable of extending the rover's 5.8 GHz communication, a gripper with a live camera to assist the pilot, and a front-facing gimbaled camera with the ability for both FPV and bird's eye position. Its six 10-inch propellers can provide a 3 to 1 thrust-to-weight ratio when carrying a 5 kg payload in the gripper. 
We would like to thank our sponsor, RP World, who has supported our team in order to make our project possible. And a special thanks to the following, Dr. Christoph Skonieczny, Professor Michael Rembachs, and Concordia University's Gina Cody Makerspace.